What are the top five things you can do in Atlanta this fall? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover a list that I've compiled, top five things to do in Atlanta in 2022. And I think you're gonna be surprised by some of the things on here. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Carlton Lewis, your Atlanta real estate agent. And today I've put together a video for you guys about the top five things to do in Atlanta in the fall. So I hope you enjoy this video and we're gonna go ahead and get it started. The first thing that comes to mind is fall festivals. There are plenty of fall festivals in metro atlanta and the surrounding area and all you have to do is just take a quick google and you'll find some i'm going to cover a few of them right now in this video in september we have dragon con the atlanta black theater festival the atlanta food and wine festival and community festivals like i'm going to be at this saturday one in douglasville georgia called the september saturdays and it's two saturdays in september and there'll be all kinds of food and merchants out there on site. In October, you have the One Music Fest, Candler Park Fall Fest, the Atlanta Pride Festival, and the Taste of Atlanta. In November, you have the Native American Festival and Pow Wow at Stone Mountain Park, the Cabbage Town Chomp and Stomp, and the Chastain Park Arts Festival. Number two on the list, and this might sound interesting coming from me, but you can go pick apples. If you go to the North Georgia mountains, there are places where you can pick, pick apples and do other fun activities that you normally wouldn't find inside the city limits of Atlanta. It's only a short ride. You can go up to LJ, Georgia or Blue Ridge. And here are a couple of the farms that I'm gonna highlight. Some of these include Hillcrest Orchards, BJ Reese Orchard and Mercier Orchards. All of these orchards have different family fun events as well as simply picking apples. So there's plenty of things to do. It's a great uh, weekend thing that you could probably do just to get out of the city of Atlanta and have some fun with the family. Number three, and this is going to sound funny coming from me as well, but I'm an outdoors type of person. So I'm gonna put this on the list. It is pumpkin patching. If you go north to the city of Dawsonville, Georgia, there are two huge pumpkin patches and I'm gonna cover them right now. The first one is Uncle Shuck's Corn Maze and Pumpkin Patch, and the second is Bert's Pumpkin Farm. Now, not only can you pick pumpkins, but both of these farms have hay rides, so that's something fun that you can do with your kids, or maybe you can do it with your significant other. Either way, it would be a great experience. Number four, and number four, being a Atlanta native is one of my favorite things about fall, and it is watching the trees change colors. So I love it when the leaves are changing colors. We have all kind of oranges, green of course, uh, yellows, reds. It's very vibrant and it's really, really cool to see. And you can either get that in town or you can drive to the mountains, even just driving on the highways. You don't even have to go anywhere in particular, but you can drive to the mountains and you can see all of the leaves changing color to colors. It is very beautiful. Now, if you don't wanna drive out to the mountains, but you want to see a great collection, you can go to Piedmont Park, which is downtown, which is well, basically it's midtown. You could also go to Grant Park and don't forget to check out the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. Number five is where a lot of people are gonna get excited. If you like crowds and if you like sports and if you like college football, then Atlanta has it for you. Downtown, we have Georgia Tech, Georgia State. We also have Morehouse and Clark who have football teams. A little further north, you have Kennesaw State. And let us not forget that Georgia is the home to Athens, Georgia, which is home to the University of Georgia, which are the current, at the time of this video, National Football College Champions. Okay, 
So I just wanted to make sure I got that out of the way. But there is plenty of football here in Metro Atlanta. And I took the liberty to throw in a bonus for number six. And most people don't realize, and maybe they do, I don't know. But in Atlanta, we have some pro teams. So we have the world champion, Atlanta Braves baseball team. We also have two teams who play downtown in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It is the Atlanta Falcons football team and the Atlanta United soccer team. And right next door at the State Farm Arena, you have the Atlanta Hawks basketball team. So there are plenty of things to do during this fall season here in Atlanta. And these are just a few of the things if you Google, I'm sure you're going to find a plethora of things, but I threw a little of this in, a little of that for everybody so that no one could be bored, all right? Now, go out and experience Atlanta. Like I said, this is Carlton Lewis. If you have any ideas that you wanna submit or put downtown and let people uh, down in the comments and let people know about, definitely do that. I would love to hear your thoughts and I'm sure other people would love to hear your thoughts as well. All right, this has been Carlton Lewis, your Atlanta real estate agent. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling it and you're gonna get out and do some things in Metro Atlanta in the fall. And definitely, like I said, leave a comment below and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time I put out a new video. I am excited about putting things out like this for you guys and I hope you're having an amazing day. Peace.